Welcome back. We are continuing Law Week at KHUN2. Legal questions answered for free every morning here on Take Two. We've been tackling a legal issue, and right now we're joined by Claire Hannes, owner and founder of Aloha Immigration, to talk about immigration laws. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. There's been so much talk lately about immigration. Um, first of all, what are the laws in place? And then how much has changed since the presidential election? Well, immigration laws are incredibly complex and um, cover just a, a huge area, including um, employment-based, family-based, deportation, naturalization, citizenship. So too much to get into the weeds on those issues now. But there have been a lot of changes since the uh, Trump was elected president. And we've seen a lot of those changes affected locally as well. And what kind of changes would those be? Well, for example, we've seen um, the announcement for the end of the, the DACA program, which is a deferred action for childhood arrivals, which provided a temporary protection for people who came to the United States um, as children and had no legal status. Um, we've seen a, a ban on refugees and immigrants from certain countries, right, also as known as the Muslim ban. We've seen um, real changes and shifts of prosecutorial discretion. So locally, a lot of people who were allowed to stay, mm -hmm. who had uh, strong family ties or community ties and maybe had orders of deportation are now being forced to leave their families and return back. And you said locally. Uh, speaking of local, what are some of the main immigration law issues that you're asked about right. in Hawaii? Um, so how do I get legal status? How do I bring a family member here? Can my employer sponsor me? Um, my boyfriend or girlfriend lives overseas. We'd like to be together. How can I do that? Those are the most common questions. And most people don't realize how complicated the, the, the process is mm -hmm. to, say, get a green card or obtain citizenship. There are so many myths. Not just complicated, but I hear that it can take a long time and a while. It can. And it's also very expensive. So just, for example, the filing fees to get a green card alone or permanent resident status are $1,760. And this is just to file? That's just for the forms. Wow. Right. And then it, and, and the, the forms are very, very complicated. Um, and even for native English speakers, there are often mistakes that are made on the forms which delay the process. Locally, processes such as getting a green card through a spouse that used to take about 90 days in the Honolulu office mm -hmm. are now taking one to two years. So there's a backlog in naturalization. There's a backlog in getting green cards. There's also a big backlog in the immigration court as well, as more and more people are being put into deportation proceedings. What are some of the other myths or misconceptions when it comes to your rights and immigration laws? Right. I think a lot of people don't understand how, again, how difficult and complicated it is to get permanent residency. People think that, well, if you're married to a U.S. citizen, you autom something automatically happens, right. right? You automatically get a green card or, or you automatically get citizenship. And that's just absolutely not the case. There's a, a long, complicated process that people have to go through. And oftentimes people, depending on how they entered the United States, States, even though they're married to a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, have absolutely no way of getting legal status within the United States. And so that's why there was a push for more than a decade for what's called comprehensive immigration reform so that people who uh, were in the United States without status, maybe who came on a visa and overstayed or who entered without permission could go ahead and get a green card through a, through a family member. Now what people have to do is they have to go abroad and apply for a visa. And people are afraid to do that because they think oftentimes they won't be allowed back in. And right. they don't want to take that risk of being separated from their family. And the good news is that we're talking during the break, there are some free legal services available. There are. You know, unfortunately, say in immigration court, there's no public defender system available. People are pretty much on their own. But there are some uh, local nonprofits who help with preparation on naturalization exams and can answer simple questions. Catholic Charities, Pacific Gateway Center. And the Hawaii Immigrant Justice Center at Legal Aid are three local nonprofits who do a lot of good in the community and who may be able to answer some basic questions for free. All right. Well, thank you so much, Claire Hannes, with Aloha Immigration, for stopping by to talk about immigration. So important, very timely. So thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. All right. Now, if you have any questions for today's Action Line Law Week, Give them a call, 5910222. Again, that's today between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. And today's topic, again, is immigration. We'll break down the stories you need to know about today. That's coming your way next on Take Two.